My name is Dr. Morale Uzunian. Good morning, sweet one. I'm a cardiac surgeon at the Peter Monk Cardiac Center, Toronto General Hospital. I have two operations today. My typical day starts around 5.15 in the morning. Who's under there? Oh, peek -a If the kids are up, I give them a kiss and have a quick cuddle with them. Hi. I'm usually out the door by 6.15, get on my bike. It's a way to build activity into my day that doesn't take time away from my family. It's a beautiful way to start the day and clear my head and just take time to think about the day, think about what's coming ahead. What kind of case is this this morning, Murrah? Um, this is a young gentleman who um, has a large aneurysm of his aortic root. Um, it's very close to the valve, but if the valve looks good, then we'll save the valve. We'll do a valve sparing root replacement, um, a procedure that was actually invented here in this hospital by uh, my mentor, Tyrone David. I chose to go into medicine because I really felt compelled to do it. Patients coming to you with an acute problem without surgery, they would do very poorly and they had a mechanical problem that you could fix. And I really loved that it was technical. I was hooked. This is what I was meant to do. We're obviously very hyper-focused, and uh, but, it, but it's, it's not something you're nervous about. It's something that we need to take care of. The patient's our priority, and we just go through all the steps, and uh, hopefully we can save the valve. Either way, he's getting the aneurysm taken care of today. That's our main goal, and it is high stakes. It's, it's open-heart surgery. Okay, great. May we start? We have a great team here. Cardiac surgery is not a one-man show. Ready to go on? Yeah, I'm okay. Ready to go on pump? Go on pump, please. There's a whole team of people that are there to get the patient through safely. The nurses, the anesthetists, the perfusionists, everyone in the room, they're all experts at what they're doing. Okay, we're gonna do a valve sparing, okay? It's very rewarding, but you have to be able to accept that it's high stake surgery. Okay, good, that looks good. You're the person at the end of the line for these patients. They're really entrusting their lives into your hands. So, and now he's off the heart-lung machine. His heart looks good. The aneurysm's been fixed, and he, um, he got to keep his valve. Cardiac surgery seems daunting to some medical students when they envision their lives. It's hard for sometimes younger women to envision how that's going to fit in with also having a family and raising children. Showing young people that you can be a female cardiac surgeon and be accomplished, and if you want to have a family, you can do that as well. It's nice for them to see. Most of Getting where I am takes uh, determination and a lot of hard work, but if you put your mind to it uh, and work hard, you can get there. Hi, nice to see you. How are you? I really appreciate that interaction with patients. I'm very honest and very direct and very open with my patients. I take the time that they need I'm very available. I give everybody my email address. So I want you to check your pressure at home and send me an email. For the patient, they're facing a life-changing experience, which is having open-heart surgery. So I try to put myself in their shoes as to how that would feel like. Yeah. My grandpa for the first. Is that the first, uh, first grandchild? Yeah. Patients come first. The patients are always number one. You help somebody one patient at a time. 
When you're at work, it's 100% committed to the work, but when I'm at home, it's also 100% committed to my family. It balances out over time. This one has a little stuff. I have an amazing husband who's really very, very supportive. <laughs> There's not a lot of downtime, so at home, my kids uh, just want mommy. You know, as soon as I'm home, it's all about mommy. Hi, monkey. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I wouldn't change it for a thing. <laughs> <laughs>